everyone my name is abhishek jain and through this video we just gonna see how we can resolve most of the frequent issues faced by the window user when they try to use the tensor pro for the very first time so let's quickly jump into the demo part and see what issue is that and how we can resolve that issue so so the very first thing which i have to show you is i have to just go to the command line so if you are a first time user and if you just install a tensorflow you will have used this particular command right pip install tensorflow right i also did the same but when i tried to import this tensorflow i was getting into some error since i have already installed this on my machine everything looks good but when i want to use this basically i want to play around with the tensorflow library for the first time so the very first statement which we do is we always try to import that module right so if i just try to import that module since tensorflow has been installed successfully but i am getting this error import error could not find the error something like this right? so this dll is nothing but some microsoft visual c++ library so if tensorflow has the windows version of tensorflow has a dependency on this particular link library I mean basically it's a dynamic link library and there are a lot of c++ runtime library which needs to be there to just uh, to run the tensorflow smoothly on a windows machine right so what we have to do is if you will see this url what we need to do is we have to go to this url right this error is very good uh, in explaining what needs to be done so we have to just go to this url right and we have to just install the version which is 2015-2017-2019 so once you just get into this uh, website you will see this section you can just scroll down to here then here you have these three versions basically these are just installed or executed if you are on a 32 bit machine then you have to click on this one if you are on a 64 bit machine you have to click on this one so the moment you click on this one it is going to just download that executable right and you have to just go to your download uh, folder and there you will see this and you have to just run it right and if you just run it it is going to take some time right so uh, but just to be, just to be known i am just using 3.7 because when i try to just install the text of 3.0 on the latest version of python which is 3.8 it was not getting installed so i didn't do the research it, hopefully uh, currently uh, today the tensorflow is not being supported on 3.8 but definitely i'm pretty much sure that soon that will be uh, that python 3.8 would also be having a supportability for tensorflow this is again an interesting point whenever you are going to install a tensorflow you have to check in mean, which version you are on and you have to see that Uh, uh, whether that tensorflow is supporting that particular uh, version or not, right? So I have installed that, okay? And you can just go to the control panel and you can check that also. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to restart my idea, right? And now let's see whether I am able to import tensorflow. So uh, if you know all the dependencies, uh, look, see, it looks like it has been installed successfully, and we are able to now import the TensorFlow, and we can quickly write a small program, right? And let me just define a one constant uh, where one, which is my variable, and I can give this constant to define one constant tensor. Inside that, I can just pass in. Um, Rank zero tensor, right? And then I can just put R two, and we can just define another tensor. I mean, this is not. I mean, this is not something which you should be worried about. Uh, but I just wanted to ensure that you should be able to use that for after just you know following these step uh, after installing you know the visual C plus uh, plus libraries, runtime basic runtime libraries. So this looks good. The next thing is I can just define a wizard, and I want it to do, let's say, the multiplication. And just to multiply these two tensor, I have to use multiply, and I have to just pass one, one, and two. Okay, 
like uh, the subscribe uh, if you are very new to the structure flow you would try to do this uh, this would give you the object right earlier that i mean you can just see this uh, tensor is one then four then nine which is quite obvious to happen right if you know this how the vector multiplication works so so now we have resolved that issue and that is how you can resolve the issue but if you face any other issue in installing a tensor flow just please feel feel free to put that in the comment section and i would i would do my best to help you to just you know uh, resolve that issue right and so as always stay healthy and keep learning and if you have any feedback or suggestion please feel free to put that in the comment section and i would be i would be more than happy to see your feedbacks and comments so that my upcoming videos can be improved because your feedbacks and uh, suggestions are always very welcome thanks again for watching this and stay healthy and keep learning new stuff